Another question about wind turbines is their impact on birds and wildlife. Stories abound about impacts on bird populations. A study by the National Academy of Science helped put the problem in perspective. According to U.S. government research, wind turbines killed 20 to 37,000 birds in 2003, with all but 9,200 of those kills occurring in California. Where does that put wind turbines compared to other hazards that birds face? There wasn't an awareness about the uh, magnitude of this problem. Reasonable estimates place the mortality between 100 million and a billion native birds dying in North America each year in window collisions. They hit the glass and they die. Other hazards to birds include loss of habitat from urban sprawl. Cars may kill 80 million birds per year. Collisions with high tension lines may kill more than a billion birds annually. Habitat destruction from coal mining and fossil fuel production takes a toll. House cats kill hundreds of millions, perhaps billions of birds each year in the U.S. Clearly bird populations are under stress, but wind turbines are not the primary culprit. A great deal of the mythology around wind and birds comes from one location in California. The Altamont Pass wind array originally included thousands of small, fast-spinning turbines. Proximity to bird habitat made this wind farm particularly deadly. But as obsolete designs are replaced and better sighting criteria applied, the problem is easing. With good management, the wind industry may be able to remain a very small contributor to bird mortality, like the less than three thousandths of a percent measured in the National Academy study.